Remember the movie Up, where a house floats into the sky using nothing but balloons? While that may seem impractical, a Florida-based company is turning a similar concept into reality for space exploration. The company, Space Perspective, plans to take passengers on a trip to an altitude of around 30 kilometers in a pressurized capsule that can accommodate up to nine people suspended from a giant space balloon. At that height, passengers can enjoy panoramic views of Earth and space, along with amenities like meal service, Wi-Fi, and even a bar. The entire journey lasts about six hours, with two hours spent cruising in the stratosphere at a gentle speed of 19 kilometers per hour. Space Perspective is offering tickets for $125,000. Meanwhile, an American startup called Spin Launch aims to provide an alternative way to get to space. Their concept involves using a large vacuum sealed system called a suborbital accelerator, which can rotate a launch vehicle containing a satellite to extremely high speeds, over 8,000 kilometers an hour, before releasing it into the atmosphere. Simply put, it's somewhat akin to the sport of hammer throwing. According to the company, this system will not only reduce launch costs by nearly 10 times compared to current methods, but will also cut fuel usage by four times. The system can launch payloads weighing up to 200 kilograms. In October 2021, Spin Launch conducted its first successful test launch in Mexico, and now they are planning toward commercial launches in 2025. As you can imagine, making a wheel for a space mission is a bit more complicated than making it for your average car. So the company Venturi set out to reinvent the wheel, literally, and this is their result. It consists of a complex system of 192 cables and springs, allowing it to deform and adapt to uneven lunar terrain all the while traveling at speeds of up to 20 kilometers an hour in extreme temperatures, as low as minus 230 degrees Celsius. When it is deployed on the moon in 2026 on the two-ton Flex rover, it is expected to last at least 1,000 kilometers. It was originally unveiled at the Paris Air Show in 2023. Here's another interesting space innovation, this time created by a Japanese toy maker. Takara Tomy, a well-known toy manufacturer, collaborated with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency to develop a compact spherical robot named Sora Q. Its diameter measures eight centimeters and weighs less than 300 grams. Its primary mission is to explore the moon's surface and capture images of the lander and its surroundings. It uses two cameras mounted on its core, which are deployed once it transforms after landing. It maneuvers by rotating its independent hemispherical halves with a tail for added stability. Sora Q was already launched to the moon as part of two missions, one in 2022 and another in early 2024. For more than five decades, Collins Aerospace has been at the forefront of providing spacesuits to NASA. Their latest suit, described as designed by astronauts for astronauts, aims to enhance mobility, comfort and functionality for spacewalks and other missions. Weighing only 20 kilograms, the new spacesuit is significantly lighter than the current models. It also includes a smart helmet with a heads-up display that provides vital information such as oxygen levels and temperatures. In addition, the suit's outer layer is designed to protect against micrometeoroids and other high-velocity debris. Intending to advance robotic technology in space, a California-based startup, Gitai, has successfully launched its two 1.5-meter-long autonomous robotic arm systems to the International Space Station in January 2024. The system is called S2 and marks the company's second demonstration mission on the ISS. The S2 robotic arm is mainly designed to carry out various tasks, including maintenance, inspection, and other repair work in the space environment. According to the company, introducing more innovations like this into space could reduce labor costs by 100 times. Also, it could reduce the risk to astronauts by taking on hazardous tasks that would otherwise require human presence in harsh environments.
With the International Space Station set to retire in 2030, the humble beginnings of a new space station era are taking shape, and Axiom Space is at the forefront. Currently being built as the world's first commercial space station, only Axiom Space holds exclusive authorization to attach its modules to the International Space Station. The company has already begun constructing the first of four planned modules, and each module will be sent to the ISS, gradually assembling module by module while the ISS remains in service. Once the final one arrives, Axiom Station will become fully independent, eventually serving as one of its replacements. The first module is set to launch in 2026. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets, and if you want to check out some cool road technologies, click on the screen for the next video.